So how can you draw or connect the dots for a clinician who has their own way of doing things already? So what are some challenges that provider and provider organizations experience when they're trying to utilize some kind of new healthcare technology or tool? Whether you're on the sell side, you have a, a piece of technology or device or a platform that you're trying to get a clinician to use and integrate into their workflows, or you're a provider organization yourself and you see this tool, you see the potential, um, but you want to know how to how it's gonna how it's gonna go when you you know launch it to your to your staff. The big challenge that we've seen is not so much that the value isn't there in the tool. A lot of times people see the value in the tool. They know that it's going to streamline their process. Maybe it can help capture some billable time that's not currently being captured. The big challenge is workflows. So how can you draw or connect the dots for a clinician who has their own way of doing things already? They're used to handling an evaluation with these steps. You know, they review the paperwork, they do whatever, they they complete their assessment, they write up the report. And how do you work into that set of steps the use or the integration of this new technology or feature? Because if it's going to be something that requires a separate login or a separate um, a separate platform to access or something, maybe open a, up a new tab or a new screen, all those little friction points can cause clinicians when they're pressed for time to just revert back to what they've been doing because it works for them. So that's the one of the big challenges, probably the biggest challenge when implementing and integrating any kind of new technology or tool is finding a way to make the integration of that tool or technology or platform or device as streamlined as possible by removing those friction points or barriers so that clinicians don't revert back to the old way of doing business.